Athens Hatch was the site for the second round of Motive Racing's Touring Car Championship on Project Cars 2 on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 platform. Coming towards the end of the qualifying session, Pro Foe was sat on provisional pole by just under a tenth of a second from Grand Led Steve Falgest was on his final round of the session. Also, Diabetic Lamb was pretty close behind in the qualifying standings too. And uh, Falgest was coming into the final few corners. Obviously, Falgest took the wheel on the track in the first round of the season at Emola and uh, was looking to try and get one over on Pro Foe pretty early on for the second round of the season. He's coming in towards the final part of the lap. It looked like he was on a pretty decent lap here. But uh, as he came out onto the start finish, he got a little bit of a slide, uh, getting the power down. And uh, unfortunately for him, wasn't able to go quickest at the end of the session. So uh, it looked like that was going to be that as pro far we took pole position for the second round of the season. Drop a like on the video, guys, if you enjoy the highlights that you're about to see. And uh, also be sure to tune in this coming Friday as we'll be live once again for the Touring Cars for round three. Also, if you want to get involved in the on-track action, go to www.motivracing.com and uh, click the link in the top right-hand corner of the website, the homepage, and that will take you to the Discord server where you can integrate with our community and sign up to any of the championships that we've got on Project Cars 2, a set of course, Competizione, or F1 2021. But with that being said, let's get into the highlights, and uh, without further ado, let's go. This is like Grand Leslie got a better start than Pro Probably he's already got the lead coming into Paddock. Salgas is under attack there from Diabetic Land, but Grand Leslie's up into the lead there as there's look like they're still side by side up towards Druids. As this Pro Probably going to try and go around the outside of Grand Leslie. I think Grand Leslie's going to take that tighter line and it's quite easy to run the outside in them again. But looks like Pro Probably's tucking in for the time being uh, in P2. The Falgas there in third with Diabetic Land just behind him. Smokey Devil, Big Blue running in sick base. Joe back behind Disco, DJ Cool, Heath and through at the back of the pack at the moment, but a very clean first few corners. Grand Lassi leads ahead of Pro Probably, and that's the only really real change in the order at the moment. So Pro Probably's going to want to get back up to the rear end of Grand Lassi and try and push him hard in this one. No track limits for tonight, but do a bit of an experiment to make sure or to see where are the way the drivers can actually keep it up within the track limits with the track limits off. We're going to be watching very, very closely tonight on the track limits, and we're going to be placing this to the highest degree. Um, Food X still going, DJ Phil's coming in to, to make his pit stop here very early on in the race. Diabetic Lamb there was throwing a little feint to the inside of Falgas. Couldn't quite make it work for himself. But uh, these guys giving us a great show out the front here. As now Pro Fubby is in the lead. So he's got ahead of Grand Lassie. I didn't see down the stream. But Pro Fubby is now the race leader here. Grand Lassie still on the back of him. But is Pro Fubby going to just try and break away a little bit now that he's got the clear air? Smokey Devil running best for the rest of the moment in P5. He's got Big Blue hunting him down though. Big Blue was, uh, has been tracking him for a few laps and now we've got another driver in. Oh, that's DJ Filston in the pits. But um, Fabi now has the lead three tenths and he's got to the ground. Steve Falgas has got heavy pressure from Darbert Adam. Darbert Adam making a move coming in towards Druid. I think he is. Darbert Adam's up into third as, as Falgas gone a little bit wide there out of Paddock Hill and maybe compromised him up the hill towards Druid. Whatever the case, Darbert Adam is up into third place. Absolute legends out on track tonight in the touring cars. Oh no! Oh my goodness! As we see Grand Nasty oh, been the into the barrier a little bit. Now would be a good time to pit for him. But uh, Smokey having to really swerve out of the way there. And oh, don't tell me they've crashed. No, they haven't, thank God. Big Blue's trying to go around the outside of Smokey there, getting a little bit of a, of a top onto the grass there. Big Blue's not going to be happy with that one at all. And Smokey there really getting his elbows out as he lets him through his ear, I don't know. Maybe Smokey's letting Big Blue back through. I don't know what's happening there, but it looks like he's now allowed him to uh, take the. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. I don't know what's going on there. But uh, Smokey there still ahead of Big Blue very, very slightly. But that all started off from Grand Lassie losing the car and rejoining the track. And it caused uh, Smokey to have to take evasive action and basically just crash into Big Blue there. But they kind of get away with it without too much damage at the moment. Big Blue lights on, not happy with Smokey uh, in the back end of that lap. He's looking to the inside of the paddock. Hill. Grand Lassie still sat there waiting and watching and hoping to pounce and make the most of any incidents that happen in front of him. Grand Lassie well out of position due to that little mistake that he had coming towards the end of the last lap. Big Blue's up the inside of Smokey into Druid and on the exit it looks like he's got that done up into fourth place as Grand Lassie is looking to the inside of Smokey and Smokey's lost it oh Smokey's got loose onto the curb a little bit he's bending into the wall and he'll have a bit of damage on that car I'm sure he's going to have to come in and get that damage repaired he's got DJ Phil no not, not DJ Phil who is it? it is DJ Phil so DJ Phil's coming up on him now 
How much longer is he going to be able to weather that storm? Darby Sinan has been pushing him for a few laps and these two a little bit quicker than both of we Oh, as I say, that foul gets his score out of shape, coming out of Paddock Hill, up the hill towards Druids. Darby Sinan going to seize on that up into second place. Falgas there making an uncharacteristic mistake there as he's trying to reel in pro Fubby. These two were both a little bit quicker than Fubby on a previous lap, but that is not going to help Falgas cause in any way, shape or form. If you think about that, the gap between Fobby and Diabetic Lamb when Diabetic Lamb came in was 7 seconds. So if you take that and you see Falgest's gap now to 7 seconds to Diabetic Lamb, you could think that Falgest might have done enough over these last couple of laps to maybe come out with Pro Fobby or, or, or ahead of him. But I don't know, Falgest did lose a bit of time on that previous lap, so maybe that, uh, that would have compromised him a little bit. Only 29 seconds off of Pro Fubby, so it looks like he's losing a little bit of time to the race leader at this point. Comes over the line there, looks like his lap time's reasonably solid, but uh, a little bit off of the leader at this point. As we see Pete Bibb and Diabetic Lamb both coming in, so Diabetic Lamb coming in again. Oh, he is, he's got damage on his McGann, that's why he's got some damage there on the front and on the middle of that car, so that has gone horribly wrong there for Diabetic Lamb. For Diabetic Lamb, but uh, Valgus took half a second out of Pro Fabi on that last lap. He was the quickest man on that previous lap. Grand at the still in the one, low 131s, but just not uh, not on the, on the pace on that previous lap. Let's see what he's on this time around, though. He is coming towards the end of his current lap that he's on now, so let's see if he was able to match Fabi and Valgus on this particular run around. Let's have a look. Grand at coming over the line, and uh, that's a 130.4, so he's actually quicker than Fabi. So Valgus and Grand at both quicker than Pro Fabi on that previous lap. Don't know if Fabi made a mistake, but uh, some quick lap times coming in from these guys. Blue's still running just ahead of Joe, he was half a second quicker than Joe on the previous lap, so he's continuing to pull that gap out a little bit as Disco. Oh, we've lost Diabetic Lamb, he's retired from the race here on lap 17, so uh, it's really unfortunate there, Diabetic Lamb out of this race prematurely. And it's all been all about damage limitation in this race, really, for Grand Destiny. He had a difficult opening part of the race, and look at how this guy's moving aside, and he's letting him through. These two obviously tangled on Sunday night uh, in the GTEs at Watkins Den when they were both battling over the lead, and uh, neither of them really having as good of a night tonight in the his touring cars as they did last Sunday. But uh, looks like Disco not really uh, worried about that. He accepts that one's not his fight, and uh, lets Grand Destiny continue on his way. Valgas had a bit of a scruffy lap last time around. 133 dead from him, but Fubby's starting to lose a bit of pace out the front, I'm just noticing. So both of them starting to fall off a little bit off of the pace that we saw from them at the start. As Big Blue uh, is still staying out, Joe Black into the pits to make his pit stop at the end of lap 17. And overshoots his put box a little bit. Oh no! He slows it back down again. Oh, what a shame there for Joe Black. He gets it back, stopped again. But uh, that cost him a little bit. Falgas took almost a second out of Pro Fubby on that last lap. Falgas doing bits right now as he locks up a little bit coming into Druids. But uh, Falgas is, is looking pretty hot at the moment. He's getting ahead of him. Disco though, nothing consistently in the 131s. And um, I'm sure that Disco is going to want to try and come out as close to Big Blue as he can and give him a bit of a fight for what's probably going to be P4 in this race. Grand SD, I reckon it's going to comfortably come out ahead of Big Blue now. He's pretty much done that one for third in this race, but uh, Disco and Big Blue, fourth place, the battle for that one's still very much open. There's a gap between Big Blue and Grand SD is now 30 seconds. It was around 24 seconds the last time I looked at the timing board, so Grand SD, oh look at that, he's got damage on the front of the car, oh no, oh no, that's definitely going to affect him a little bit there. That will uh, cost him a bit of lap time, for sure. Oh, that's gone horribly wrong there for Brandon Stee. We're not, we're not gonna really know the full story, but uh, looks like Joe Black's got ahead of Gunnard Stee. He's up into P4. That could be a net for P3 once Big Blue comes into the pits. So that position there from Joe Black could be for a podium spot here in this race. Nicely done there from Joe. Profabi's coming in to make his pit stop here at the end of lap 34. Let's see how long that stop is. It looked like it was pretty good. I'd say six or seven seconds there that he was stopped in the box for. He's already off and trundling down to the end of the pit lane now, so Falgas not really in sight. And Fabi has done more than enough here over this pit stop window. Starts the final lap of this race. Falgas there is just coming out of Clearways out onto the start finish. So what a drive it's been from Fabi. Took the win last week in Imola 
after finishing second to Fargus on the track, he ended up getting the win due to the time penalties. This time out, he's needed no such things. He's needed no such time penalties handed out to the drivers in front of him to take advantage of. He's just driven superbly. He has been the fastest man out on track tonight in the MRG. Mile 7, Renault McGann livery out at the final corner profile. He's going to take two from two here at Motive Racing for the Touring Car Championship. What a drive and what a superb victory there from him. A flash of the lights from DJ Phil. He seems pretty chuffed there. Eight place and a decent haul of points in the bags there for uh, DJ Phil. For August comes over to take second place here in this race. A valley in second, pushed it all the way and keeps the points to probably pretty close there. So those two, once again, top two, but uh, Pro probably again coming out on top here in the touring cars. Big Blue coming in towards the final few corners and uh, it's going to be a superb podium here on his motor racing debut. We lost a few along the way tonight, which was a shame. But nonetheless, Big Blue putting on a good show here. He's going to bring it around to finish this race in third place here tonight.